Hey guys, what's going on? It's your big man Luge and I got a new video for you. Top 10 tips to get you out of bronze in case you can't read. Last season I was a gold jungler so I know what I'm talking about. These are going to be 10 tips to get you out. I'm looking out for you. And without further ado, let's run it down mid with our first tip. Number 1. Your champion. I compiled a list of champions you could play in the jungle with no prior experience to get you into your ranked games and carry you to victory. Elise, Gragas, Nidalee. Lee Sin, Kazix, Graves, Evelyn, Shaco, Camille, and Timo. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. And if you like to play farm heavy junglers and find yourself raiding on weekends with your top guild in World of Warcraft, you should probably play Mundo. That's it. Hey Logic, can you drop some stones? Shut the fuck up. Logic doesn't have any stones. <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> Number two, your champion pool. Which should you play in what situation? Assuming you're watching this video for help, I got you. A lot of top players and even streamers suggest playing with a small champion pool. But that's dumb. If you're in champion select, go to lolcounter.com and look up what champion you assume is in their jungle and pick the best counter. That's a tip you can use in any lane, so you're already ahead of the game. Don't say I never helped you. Number 3. Map Awareness In many other seasons, map awareness was one of the most important aspects of the role. But in this season, you don't even want to glance at your map. The less information you have this season, the better. What I suggest is to take a poster to your computer monitor and covering that pesky map. You're the jungler and your primary role is map control. What way to do that better than to ignore the map? What you don't know can't hurt you. Number 4. Pathing This one kind of branches off of map awareness a little bit. If you feel like you need a certain path to make you a good player, you're an absolute fucking idiot. Take any path you want, wrap this first for all I care. The fact there's a norm and meta for what you have to do is stupid, and you should feel fucking stupid for ever considering your pathing. Don't let anyone tell you what to do, why are you even watching this guide? Number 5. Invading the enemy jungle You should always do this regardless of how fed or not the jungler is. If you're able to get in their jungle and see some experience, and you wind up getting killed, that's fine. You already denied them a shit ton of experience, so what are they gonna do? If their jungle is empty, they will probably just AFK in the base until they respawn. Invades win games. Number 6. Ganking You should only gank when it's beneficial to you. If an enemy laner is low, take charge and get that kill. If possible, try to take as many kills as you can. Do not let your team get any assist. If your team gets assist, then what are you doing? You're literally giving them more experience and gold that you could be having for yourself. The game is about you, nobody else. Hashtag jungle difference. Number 7. Objectives as every season goes on, dragons are getting progressively worse and low priority. Going for dragon is counterproductive. If you're gonna kill a dragon, kill the gray one. Gray is personally my favorite color. All the other dragons are kinda trash, I'm not gonna lie, even the elder dragon. Rift Herald has become more important than dragon, so make sure you pull your top laner and mid laner whenever you can to kill them. It is of the utmost importance. Number 8. Jungle Tax As we know, junglers have less catch-up experience. This is very important to keep in mind. So if you feel like you're falling behind, be sure to tax your laners. Go in, take a wave here and there, get some minions, and back out. Preferably into the enemy jungle so you can invade and work on step 5 a little bit more. With this tactic, you'll never fall behind in your jungle. Number 9. Getting invaded in your jungle. It all happens, we get invaded. So what? Let's say Kha'Zix has been taking all your farm the whole game, what do you do? Oh, I'll show my figure up my ass. No, you're not going to do that. Assuming you don't have a chat ban. Because why would you? You're always right. Go with the chat and flame every single person. And make sure you add something along the lines of hashtag team difference, hashtag mid difference. You get the picture. I'm sure you've already been doing it. Number 10. Number 10, my favorite number. Flame on the League of Legends Reddit. Make sure Reddit knows that your role is currently broken and the state it is in is absolutely horrible. Treat the subreddit as if it's actually Riot Games. That way your message will get across and they will all make the changes that you like. Remember, Riot's out to suck your dick, nobody else's. Bonus tip. If you do the exact opposite of all these tips, I promise you, you will find a significant change in your gameplay. If you enjoyed, smack that like button and a subscription is always appreciated. We're 500 subscriptions closer to being monetized, which would be a dream for me. That's awesome. And if you guys follow my Twitch, that's cool too. I Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at, from 8 to 12 Eastern at twitchtv.com slash luge. If you have an idea for a top 10 video, let me know and I may make it. And with that, I will see you guys next time.
choking how? Everybody's choking now. I'ma show you motherfuckers how to act now. Now this looks like a job for me. So everybody just follow me. Cause we need a little controversy. Cause it feels so empty. Okay, now picture little Robbie just a younger run around with his man's hammer in his hand, feeling like a man. Run, motherfucker, run for the pole.